How would the world react if Trump got assassinated the same way JFK did? Just saying hi to the FBI agents reading this thread. Hi. Well you're on a list now. Everyone is on the list, woohoo. You get a raid, I get a raid, he gets a raid, and she gets a raid. They're raiding everyone in this bitch. They'd probably start to question the safety of convertibles in motorcades. Other polarizing high-profile targets like the Pope would probably have to resort to extreme measures like bulletproof enclosures in order to remain visible and safe. That would never happen, how would the Pope breathe? Unless. Do Popes need a lot of air or can we just poke holes in the lid? We can add a leaf and a stick, to simulate his natural environment. Nobody has ever been frightened when they see a Pope, it's more like, here comes a Pope. I hope he settles near me, so I can pet him. What were we talking about? I'll take fastest ways to get the alphabet boys at your door, for 500 Alex. I have never killed anyone, but I have read some obituary notices with great satisfaction. Clarence Darrow, 1932. I would be incredibly impressed by the gun that managed to hit him through the roof of the presidential limo and the organizational capabilities of whoever pulled it off. I hate the guy as president, I really do. But my preferred method would be voting him out. I'm also firmly against violence. Him being assassinated would make him and his movement sympathetic, it would paint the opposition with a broad brush, as unsympathetic. He could be idolized for years to come by his followers and motivate more politicians like him. And on top of all that, we'd get Pence as president. At least most of the things Trump tries to do are thwarted by his own incompetence. Pence would be more effective at being an asshole. Edit, someone pointed out that I misread this thread's actual question which I totally did misread it. Why am I being upvoted? Stop upvoting my mistakes lol and stop replying to a guy who got the whole thread wrong. Edit, I really appreciate the gold in a way, but stop giving Reddit money. I totally misread this topic as, would assassination be good or bad for the world? I captured the essence of the question purely by coincidence. I don't like him but if he dies I hope you're ready for Civil War Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. FBI would like to know your location. Regardless of me really disliking that orange twat, I'd celebrate if he was removed from office due to gross misconduct, this would be terrible. As if the US wasn't unstable enough already, this would definitely push the US over the edge, whatever consequences that might have. Like it or not, the US is a very important player on the global stage. Whether or not you like the US having the amount of power and influence it has, nobody with good international intentions looking at you too, Russia and China wants the gun-wielding neighborhood cop to have a mental breakdown. 100% agree on this. Also, I would hate to see him become a martyr of any shape or form. Makes my skin crawl thinking about it. I would like him to be voted out of office, then faded into obscurity until the public is indifferent about him. Like him or not, he is the President of the United States and him getting killed would be terrible for both his supporters and enemies alike. Killing off any president is always bad. So it would be bad for USA. I imagine the governments of the rest of the world would unenthusiastically give their condolences and not really care much after that. I'm by no means a Trump supporter, quite the opposite actually, but imagine the outrage if Trump supporters were publicly fantasizing about a Democratic president being assassinated in a thread like this. I don't mean the headline, which is fine, I mean specifically the comments. The sub would get banned in a matter of days. Some of you need to get a grip. Be terrified over what Pence could do. I would personally be worried about what his cult followers would do. No matter who pulled the trigger, QAnon and every right-wing conspiracy nut would blame it on Antifa or some other leftist group and there would be killings of anyone assumed to be associated with those groups. I'm so confused by the Antifa thing. I thought being anti-fascist was a good thing. I hate this timeline so much. The argument is, note, don't believe this myself, is that, Antifa, meaning, anti-fascist, is just clever branding for what are, s-e-k-r-i-t left-wing fascists. Like how, all lives matter, is just branding for, black lives don't matter shut up. I'm also confused why people disapprove of North Korea. They are called the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I thought democracy is a good thing. I hate this timeline so much. Coffin dance. 30% would be suffering from schadenfreude. 
40% would be indifferent. 20% would be sympathetic, even those who didn't like him. 9% would be sad. 1% would be incredibly sad, bitter and vow vengeance. 1% of our population is 3.5 million people. Can you imagine 3.5 million militia QAnon edgelord redneck evangelistic white fat mobility scooter Walmarters pulling their katanas out and vowing vengeance at once? Katana jousting on mobility scooters sounds like a fantastic reality TV show. I'd mostly get worried BC killing Trump is basically asking his idiot followers to get mad and riot. The rest of me would cough and dance. I'd be worried it would turn him into a martyr. It absolutely would. Any president being assassinated is bad news, regardless of your feelings for him. It's horrible that someone would feel the need to actually kill him, since violence is a cycle that can only be ended when both sides decide not to hurt each other or one side is completely annihilated. I don't really like the guy, I think he's a symbol of everything that needs to just go away so America can move on from their darker bits of past, but I don't want him dead. Besides, assassination is a good way to turn your target into a martyr. JFK's assassination, while horrific, did directly lead to the civil rights movement's success since JFK championed that an LBJ really had no choice but to sign it in as JFK's last wish, so to speak. Do we really want the same situation to happen with everything the current president stands for? If the president were to die of COVID-19, would it count as an assassination? China assassinated our president guys. This was their plan all along. It will be a global kofifi. Memes. Lots and lots of memes. Terrified. 1. I truly don't wish death on him, no matter how much I hate him. An assassination of a president, no matter our beliefs, is a very bad thing for our country. Also Baron Trump is only 13 years old. He's already had to go through so much hate and bullying, now to deal with his father's murder. It'd be terrible for him. 2. This would cause riots in the streets from conservatives. They will go nuts. They'll push false information like Biden had him killed or some dumb shit like that. They'll also turn up in massive numbers during the election. You can put your money down on Biden losing the election and Pence being in for 8 years. You can put your money down on Republicans taking back the House. You can put your money down on the fact that it'll be years and years and years before another Democrat is elected to the presidency. 3. We shouldn't fight hate with murder. Hum I'd say countries like China or Russia would be worried a bit. Others would probably go like they will elect another one. It would have to be an inside job. If Trump were to take a motorcade tour through Dallas along the same road in an open car, there is no fucking way that anyone but law enforcement would be allowed close to the Texas Book Depository much less up on the top floor. You could also bet that the grassy knoll would be crawling with police. In other words, there is zero chance that any US president could be assassinated in the same way as JFK. Trump, an overweight 70-plus-year-old man with an unhealthy lifestyle and high-stress job, could kneel over from a heart attack and his supporters would call it a conspiracy theory and maybe declare war. If he was assassinated JFK-style then the current riots we're seeing at the moment could be considered just a warm-up act. Depends on who killed him, if it's a left-leaning type one think there would be a lot of riots. If it was right-leaning, a political person probably nothing. Melania in the study with a revolver. Nice try secret service. FBI has entered the chat. I hope you know that the FBI might consider this a threat and they have stated that they are taking all threats seriously. It's a question, not a threat. Telling your population you'll send the military after them is a threat. With outrage, hating the guy's politics is one thing but actually assassinating him would be widely condemned. If this happened now you'd see Pence win the next election by riding the sudden boost in popularity for the Republican as people sympathized. I don't know how the world would react. But I would be upset. Not because I have any love for the man, his policies, or his supporters, but because even a man as despicable as Trump does not deserve to be murdered. I would also ensure that all of my guns are in good working condition and that I have sufficient ammunition on hand. Well, as a Swiss citizen, I'd just happily eat my wheel of cheese while riding my favorite cow, Emma. After that, we'd go back to watch the American shit show. Sorry for everyone who lives in the States by the way, I just tried to be funny for once.
Don't come after me, I'm full with chocolate. Well he would be more open-minded then. Half the country would be very upset and the other half would be celebrating with jubilation in the street partying like it's New Year's Eve 99. Seeing this would push the angry half over the edge and would probably result in full-fledged hot civil war. I'm no fan of Trump, but also do not like this question on here. Agreed. Even speculating about such an occurrence is wildly inappropriate, and may get you an in-person visit from the US Secret Service, and those folks don't play. It's better to vote him out. America does not need some kind of Trump martyr cult. Just let him lose his election by a landslide. Vote. Instant civil war. We're so close as it is. Time to stop the violence before it gets so bad that millions die. Enough. Well if that happened, you better make ready for a 2020 Republican landslide. It won't help Democrats win elections, it will have the opposite effect. You need to talk, defend your viewpoints and win the arguments with solid insight and arguments. Violence doesn't make you look good, it makes people hate you. Personally speaking I wouldn't be able to care less, I doubt history would look at his assassination the same way we look at JFK's today. It might be like how we view Archduke Ferdinand's assassination. Saying you don't care completely misunderstands the global ramifications it would likely cause. Even local idiots rioting would be a major problem. Wow reading these comments make me realize how terrible people are. Even more riots, and quite possibly a civil war. Love him or hate him, you've gotta admit that Trump's presidency has seriously divided the nation. Like, this country is like a big bottle of champagne. The Trump presidency built up pressure inside the bottle. Trump's death has the potential to unplug the cork. Assassinating anyone is a cowardly action. If you assassinate Trump, then Pence becomes the president and the incumbent for the GOP. Now instead of Trump versus Biden, you have Pence versus Biden. Many of the never Trumpers might vote for Pence. People who hate both Trump and Biden will see another viable choice. So who benefits from the assassination? Also, how stupid to assassinate someone six months from a general election. They would probably say that it was, by far, the best assassination of a president in the history of the United States of America. No one knows more about assassination than Donald Trump. Fucking pissed that he would now be a martyr for the GOP and people would feel so vindicated that the left is the real threat. He would go down as a tragic figure in history and it would be used to further trample people's rights. Hell I'd be half convinced the GOP let or had it happen so they could be rid of Trump before he went off the deep end, even more so, but still grab enough tools for the oligarchy they want. This thread is very eye-opening to how out of touch the typical Redditor is with the real world. For three years I've wondered how Americans would feel about this. Not sure the rest of the world cares. I would not be sad, not American. I don't think a headshot would stop him. No vital organs. I'd wonder what caused the Secret Service, administration in general to change the policy no longer allowing the president to ride in open top vehicles, without the Secret Service next to him. There are a number of assassinations throughout history that have resulted in a dramatic increase of political instability and violence. What immediately comes to mind is Tsar Alexander II of Russia, who was assassinated by anarchists who sought to overthrow the country's autocracy. His successor, Alexander III, reacted by reversing much of his father's liberal reforms and cracking down very harshly on any dissent. I imagine that a successful attempt on Trump's life would result harsh, oppressive measures from the government to quell both any perceived additional threats, as well as the inevitable violent backlash from his supporters. I would also bet that whoever ended up in office next, Pence aside, would win support by promising to crack down on the left. In short, not good. I'm not going to be biased based on my own political beliefs, but no one deserves to die that way. Even if people don't like him, wanting him dead is an awful thing. There's a difference between hating someone and being an absolute psychopath. Reddit's to S forbids me from responding. Say, what are the odds? Two presidents, riding in convertibles in Dallas, Texas, are shot and killed by the CIA and covered up by the mob? Thanks for watching our video. If you like it, please smash the subscribe and like button to support the channel, so that we can create more quality content in the future.